Hey everyone, let's begin this big art haul. All the materials purchased are from Jenny's Art Drama. So the first thing what I have here is a, a watercolor book. This has got 30 sheets and this is by Canson XL. And uh, these are cold press papers. These are large sheets. Still have not tried it. So here is another one from Strathmore. And uh, I really like painting on this one. This has got 12 sheets and these are also gold pressed papers. 300 GSM. Just few watercolor studies that I did on this one. Heavy. So another book that I have, uh, the watercolor pad is from Arches and these are 300 GSM again, 12 sheets, 9 by 12 inches and 100% pure cotton. Okay, a few more watercolor books and these are from Stonehenge, Aqua Cold Press Heavy, Aqua Cold Press and Aqua Hot Press. I have used all three. Um, I really like uh, using these little books because they are very handy and I can just carry out small studies or you know just paint something smaller on this. I guess I finished this book. Okay, I like painting leaves. I've created these many watercolor paintings on these uh, aqua stone hand sheets and I have few more as well which I've already framed. Yeah, uh, so this is what I've painted. And yes, these uh, little white frames are also from Jerry's Art Drama. And my paintings really look very, very beautiful in these frames. I've got two of these. Don't they look beautiful? I totally love them. more watercolor papers from Stonehenge just a second okay uh, so I've got a few more bases to paint on these are all mixed media art panels two by four inches and these can be used for uh, different kinds of media like acrylic, oil, pastels and many more mediums. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, and these are linen panels. I've never painted on a linen, uh, sorry, <laughs> linen painting panels before, so waiting to try. So there's a few more from Art Bites All Media Art Panel. These are three by three inches in size. And these are also linen painting canvases. It's a set of three, I guess. Yeah of three yeah few more surfaces to paint on yes yes I know I like cute little 
um, canvases and blocks. So these are wooden blocks and uh, these are resin script medium textured and there are a few couple of them are just sort couple are not I think I got around uh, eight of these I'm actually planning to do a small um, maybe a landscape series on these I don't know I still have not decided it could be florals or it could be landscape and these are a couple sketchbooks from reflections and uh, yeah they're good good to carry and these are crayons water soluble crayons and these are very very good for acrylic paintings wow look at the colors just so beautiful so bright And here comes the brushes, paint brushes, and uh, yes, I've got lots of them, but I did a lot of research before getting all of these. So these are a couple of fan brush. One is from Winsor and Newton, and the other one is from Bob Ross, both in different sizes. This is a little textured, and this is a smooth brush. Okay, so this is one of my favorite brush to use uh, for most of my painting backgrounds. Uh, this is from Winsor & Newton, size 10. It's a filbert brush. Perfect for my floral paintings. So this is also from Winsor & Newton, Galeria range. I like using these for my uh, smaller landscape paintings. So I've got a few brushes from Pro Stroke. I this is the first time I got uh, brushes from this particular brand, and I uh, really like this uh, Filbert brush, which is very similar to the Winsor and Newton uh, brush. Okay, let me get that one. Yeah, so look at that. It's actually stiff, nice. So few watercolor brushes and this one is a dab. Sorry, it's a rigor brush from Creative Mark. And this one is from Princeton Heritage, a round brush for watercolor paintings, number six. That's a dagger brush, again from Princeton, Neptune series. And you can watch my tutorial on how to paint one stroke leaves using just this particular brush. Yes, it's there on my YouTube channel and as well as on my Instagram account. And this is a size 8 by silver black velvet. This is a must have brush. I guess both Princeton and this. I really like using both of uh, both these brushes. So I got this one in size 8 and the Princeton in size 6. So another one from Princeton. This is a square wash brush. Perfect for my little uh, landscape paintings. Another one from Creative Mark, it's a round brush, size 2. And that's a mop brush. Yes, a mop brush from, again, Princeton Select Oval Mop. Very, very good for blending. 
for getting that smooth background in the paintings perfect for blending so i think this is the only gouache paint in white that i got from this particular brand that's vanish it's a four in one eraser i think that's a free gift that i got okay so here comes uh, a beginner art set it's an acrylic art set from royal and langnickel it's a wooden set it's very portable it really looks very very good let's see what's inside this particular box wow look at the color so that's the brand okay let me get this closer so that you guys can see it better and yeah so that's an artist guide that's acrylic canvas panel yeah just one panel in this box and around 10 paints acrylic paints a sharpener eraser and that's a palette knife nice and this is a cute little palette that's a pencil and three paint brushes I think there are three flat and three round brushes so what else I think this is a complete set for beginners so that's all guys these are all the materials that I purchased from Jerry's let me know in the comment section below what you like the most And I highly recommend the beginner acrylic set for people who want to start uh, exploring acrylic paints. I think this particular kit has got everything. Yeah. Okay, have a good day guys. Do subscribe to my channel.